When I in awesome wonder Consider all The worlds thy hands have made I see the stars I hear the rolling thunder Your power throughout The universe displayed Then sings my soul Then sings my soul My Savior God To thee How great you are how great you are, how great you are. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. We love you, Jesus. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think, and when I think we love you so much, Lord, that God, his son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the old rugged cross, that on the cross, my burdens, my burdens gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sins. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great you are. How great you are. Love you, Lord. How great you are. You mean everything to me, Jesus. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great you are. How great you are. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are you doing on this morning? You know we love you guys. We really look forward to spending these precious mornings with you in the Word of God. Now I want to read something to you this morning. It's coming from the book of Psalms chapter 1. And what I want to talk to you a little bit about this morning is, I'm going to ask my daughter to stop playing so I can just move on with this. Thanks. Man. So this morning, just for a few minutes, I really felt led by the Holy Ghost to take my time and talk to you a little bit about supernatural success secrets because there isn't a person on the face of this earth that does not want to be successful in whatever endeavor it is that they put their hands on. Now, for us who are saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost, God have given us the written word of God. And what I'm reading to you this morning, it's going to really reveal to you how to be successful in whatever endeavor it is that you put your hands on. But the first and foremost thing is you got to be saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost and surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ because you can't make it without Jesus. You know, Jesus said, apart from me, you can do absolutely nothing. And you know, on this precious morning, I just felt the Holy Ghost really asked me to just pull it back a little bit and to just take my time and teach for a few minutes the word of God to help you be prosperous and successful in every area of your life, whether it's business, whether it's marriage, whether it's on your job, whether it's in college, it doesn't matter. The word of God applies to every aspect of your life. Now, without any further hesitation, let's dive into the word of God. Psalms chapter one, I'm going to read verse one, two, and three. I want you to listen closely to the word of God. The Bible says, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Now, the Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Ungodly counsel is taking advice 
from people who are not saved and full of the Holy Ghost, people that will give you immoral advice that goes against the Word of God, that goes against the Christian conviction, that goes against what Jesus Christ died for on Calvary Cross, the Son of God. I want you to hear me, and I'm, I'm crystal clear about this. I have no trouble with not trying to be politically correct. Because that's why a lot of people are in trouble right now. I'm not trying to be politically correct. I'm a preacher of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I make no apologies for standing on the word of God. Now watch this. So he said, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. The scornful are prideful, haughty people who think they are better than everybody on the planet. Run far away from those people because the Bible says pride comes before fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. Amen. The Bible says, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Now watch this. Let me move forward because I want to get to my main point here. In verse two, he says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. That's the written word of God. And in God's law, does he do what? Meditate day and night. That means to consume the word of God. And as you read the word of God, to take your time. That's being led by the Holy Ghost, of course. We're not talking about foolishness out there and the new age stuff, transcendental meditation, all this nonsense that's out there. And no, listen, we, we're not talking about nothing new age. We're talking about what the Holy Ghost have set apart for you as a child of God, a Christian that's been washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've already surrendered your life to Christ. God is talking to you from his word. He said, but you, your delight is in the word of God. And in his word, do you meditate day and night? That word meditate actually means to think about the written word of God, to take your time and ponder on scripture. I want you to hear me good. Meditate means to mutter. It means to think about a particular scripture that the Holy Ghost have impressed on your heart. This has nothing to do with you trying to conjure something up on your own. The Bible says those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, the Bible says, eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither, excuse me, Neither have it have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. So as you meditate on the word of God, as you think about the word of God, as you ponder on the scriptures, the Holy Spirit will begin to give you revelation. The Holy Ghost will begin to illuminate your mind. Simply means that God will cause you to understand his wisdom from the scripture on any given situation on how you need to apply yourself what decision you need to make, whether you need to, to go left or right, whether you need to take this job or reject it, whether you need to accept this contract or turn your back on it. I'm, I'm talking straight talk this morning. So he said, but his delight is in, in the word of God and in his word does he meditate day and night. Listen to what's going to happen. The Bible says in Psalms 1-3, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Planting has the idea of being stable. Listen, if you are unstable, it's because you are not meditating in the word of God. If your life is a life that's lived without direction, you are just on the spur of the moment type person, you need to pull it back and sit and wait on God. Because as you wait in the presence of God and meditate on the scriptures and study the word of God, the Holy Ghost will illuminate the word of God. The Holy Ghost will cause you to understand what God wants you to understand on the everyday decisions you have to make. And these are the things that lead to success because the Bible says, he should, the man who meditates, verse 3 of Psalms 1, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in his season. Listen good. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he does will prosper. And if you look at people in the kingdom of God who are prospering, it just seems like everything they put their hands on, it turned to gold. It's not because they are lucky. It's not because, because they are 
God favors them more than you. It's simple because that person is taking time out with God. They're spending time alone with God. They're spending time meditating and, and meditating in the word of God and the Holy Ghost is bringing direction to their life. Remember Martha and Mary. Uh, the Bible says, Martha, look at Jesus and he said, Master, aren't you going to tell Mary she need to come and help me uh, carry on the duties of the house? And Martha was upset because Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet and listening to his word. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are cumbered about with much stuff and being distracted. But Mary have chosen that good part which will never be taken away from her. And what was that? Sitting at his feet and listening to his word. Let me read something to you from Proverbs chapter 6. I'm coming back into what I'm talking about. But let me go into Proverbs Chapter 6, I want to read verse 22 and 23 for the person that meditates on the Word of God. Listen to what the Word of God says in Proverbs 6, 22. When you go, it will lead you, the Word of God, the Holy Ghost will use the Word of God to lead you. When you sleep, it will keep you. When you awake, it will talk to you. Have you ever been driving your car and all of a sudden, wham, seems like the light comes on and all of a sudden a scripture that you hadn't heard or even talked about in a few years, all of a sudden the scripture takes on meaning and it's the scripture you need It's and it comes at the right time. Have you ever listened to one of our broadcasts or another man of God or another woman of God broadcast and they are all of a sudden they're sharing the word of God and it's exactly what you need on the spur of the moment. That's because the Holy Spirit is illuminating your mind. He's bringing direction into your life. He's bringing clarity into your life. And this is why some people get frustrated and say, oh, God's not answering their prayer. No, 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 no. God wants to answer everyone's prayer. Hello, somebody. That Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. But the problem is people are so busy about with their everyday life, they do not want to take time out with God. And as a result, they're making bad decisions and they have to live with the consequences. And they want you to pray them out of these situations where they have disobeyed the written word of God. They did not wait on God. They got themselves in a mess. And now they expect you to come and pray them out of their mess in, in a few minutes. It don't work that way. You're going to have to, to get out of that mess you're in. You're going to have to get alone with God, meditate on the word of God, listen to anointed preachers, listen to anointed worship music, and spend time alone with God and tell the Holy Ghost, use the word of God to bring direction into your life. The Bible says, he should, let, let me go back to Psalms 1. The, well, no, sorry about that. Let me finish Proverbs 6.22. It says, when you go, it will lead you. When you sleep, it will keep you. And when you awake, the word of God will talk to you. Why? Verse 23, for the commandment is a lamp, the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. That's why David said in Psalms 119 verse 105, thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my pathway. I, I want you to hear me. So David was a man who spent time meditating in the word of God. David was not successful by coincidence. David's given you the secret. David said, on God does he wait all the day long. David said, Lord, I meditate on your precepts. That's meditating on the word of God. And as a result of David meditating on the word of God, God brought clarity and direction into David's life. The Holy Ghost used the word of God to just bring direction. Listen, that's what Jesus meant when he said in John chapter 16 verse 13 Jesus said when the Holy Spirit of truth has come this belongs to every child of God Jesus said the Holy Ghost will guide you into all truth for he will not speak of himself but whatsoever he hears that will he speak and he will show you things to come and Jesus said the Holy Ghost will guide you into all truth well Jesus clarified what truth is in the book of John chapter 17 Jesus said oh Lord thy word is truth so Jesus said the Holy Spirit will use the written word of God as a road map in your life to lead you to guide you and to direct you and listen John John 14, 26, Jesus said, when the comforter, the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, when he comes, Jesus said, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have spoken to you. That's back to the word of God. That's why when the enemy came against Jesus, Jesus rebuked the devil. And what did Jesus said? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Listen to Psalm chapter 33, verse four, for the word of the Lord is is right. My God, my God. Now listen, 
about this meditation, let me just wrap this up here by going to Joshua chapter one, verse eight. I want you to see this because we're talking about supernatural success secrets. So one of the, one of the things that led to great success in David's life was he was a man that meditated on the word of God. You look at some of the greatest men in the Bible that had the greatest success. They were men of God who knew how to meditate on God's laws, meditate on God's written word. Watch Joshua. Listen to what God said to Joshua in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This is the same Joshua who conquered Jericho. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. My God, the Jordan River dried up for Joshua those to walk over on dry land. I'm telling you, listen to this. Here's Joshua's secret. This is what God said to him in Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein. How much? Day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So listen, so God was telling Joshua, as you meditate on the word of God, Josh, I'm going to reveal to you, the Holy Ghost is going to reveal strategies to you from the word of God That shows you the steps that you need to take. It was when Joshua was meditating. He was looking at the walls of Jericho and meditating. Wondering how on earth can he knock these walls down. Because he knew he didn't have the manpower. Nor did he have the artillery. Nor the weapon. Nor the machinery to knock the walls down. And whilst he was waiting before God. The angel of God which was Christ. Christ Jesus appeared to Joshua. The captain of the host of God. That's Christ himself. And he said to Joshua. Joshua. March around the walls of Jericho once for seven days, once every day. And on day seven, march around seven times. And when you shout, the wall is going to fall flat. That makes no sense. But that's what happened when we meditate on the word of God. What, what, what would make David go up against an arm seasoned soldier who is a giant and all he have in his hand is a slingshot and a stone? That's a man who meditates on the word of God. The Holy Ghost reveals secrets to you from the word. And when you apply yourself to what the Holy Spirit is teaching you as a blood bought, blood washed child of God, you will experience success. Notice what the Bible says at the end of Joshua chapter one, verse eight. When you meditate on the word day and night, it said that you may observe to do. You will never know how to apply the word of God to your life if you don't spend time meditating. That's why some people's marriage are not successful I'm talking about Christians. Why? They spend no time with God, no time in God's word. Listen, you can pray for wisdom until you are blue in the face. If you want God's wisdom, getting God's wisdom is very simple. Study to show yourself, approve unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Some people want to know how to get out of debt. Your answer is in the word of God. Some people want to know, what do I need to do for my business to succeed? Your Your answer is in the word of God. Some people need to know, how can I get a raise on my job? What do I need to do to get promoted? Your answer is in the written word of God. And some people want to want shortcuts to success. There's no shortcut. You are going to have to pay the price and get alone with God. Are you listening to me? Until the Holy Spirit shows you from God's word how to apply yourself, how to apply the word of God to a given situation in your life. And the Bible says in Joshua 1 8, when you do it, you will make your way prosperous. Not nobody else. How great thou art. You will make your way prosperous. Not only will you make your way prosperous, but you will have good success. So I felt the Holy Ghost wanted me to talk about supernatural success secrets. So the Bible says, if you meditate in the word day and night, you will make your way prosperous. Some of you are struggling with poverty. And some people are saying, and I and I know some of it's true. Oh, there's a spirit of poverty. It rained on my mom and dad. Now it's in my life. Listen here, friend. Poverty is not stronger than the written word of God. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, every word that what? proceedeth from the mouth of God. The mouth of God is the Holy Ghost as you meditate on the word of God. 
That scripture that the Holy Ghost lights up to you and all of a sudden you understand what to do. That's, that's the Holy Spirit giving you fresh bread from heaven. He's giving you a word. You may hear it come from a preacher, your pastor, a teacher, an evangelist, a prophet, an apostle, the high priest, whatever it is. God will use the word of God to bring you out of whatever ditch it is that you are in. Are you listening to me this morning? And I'm talking about supernatural success secrets. Your life is about to be changed by the power of God's word. I said, your life is about to be changed by the written word of God. And what I want to pray over you this morning is that as you spend time alone with God, that the Holy Spirit would speak to you. I want to bind and rebuke every distraction that, that you are so busy in your life that you have no time for God. And when you don't have any time for God, you are a wide open target for disaster. Are you listening to me? And the reason why I'm talking to you like this is because I love you, I care about you. I'm also a pastor. The Holy Ghost said, feed my sheep. And I felt like the Holy Spirit wanted me to take time out to you and share supernatural success secrets with you this morning, my friend. You know we love you. I wanna pray for you, Father, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister that's hunger, hungry and thirsty to be successful in the things of God, to be successful on their job, to be successful in their marriage, to be successful in their family, God. I lift them up before you this morning. I rebuke every frustration. I rebuke every distraction. I rebuke anger this morning in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the attacks of the enemy that have them so distracted that they have no time to listen to the word of God, nor meditate on the word of God. I bind that devil in Jesus' name. For the word of God says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and His truth, His word will be your shield and buckler. I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare success over your life. I declare you will hear the word of God. Isaiah said, you will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. The Holy Ghost will reveal the Word of God to you. That's His ministry. That's the Holy Ghost's job in your life is to lead you, to guide you, to direct you in all truth, which is the Word of God. He's not going to lead you apart from the Word. Of course, He may give you a dream. Someone may prophesy to you, but that thing better line up with the written Word of God because if it's not line up with the Word of God, throw it in the garbage can. Because God's word is pure. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 30 verse 5, every word of God is pure. He is a shield and a buckler to those who put their trust in him. I cover you this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus that God create a hunger in you for the word of God. I pray that you would study to show yourself approved unto God. The apostle Peter said, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow by it because it's as you study the word it's as you meditate on the word you will grow you'll begin to get mature in the things of god you will begin to be more seasoned the prayer will begin to pour out of you david said quicken me according to your word and i'll cry out to you and listen people always pass the song pray for me pray for me well, well how can you pray like that and i can't listen it takes time but as you meditate on the word of god the holy ghost will teach you the holy ghost will instruct you my god the word you will become so full of the word of god that when you open your mouth to pray the atmosphere would shift the atmosphere would change demons would begin to flee the bible says in matthew chapter 8 that jesus cast out the spirits with his word the word of god gives you authority my god because the word of god became flesh and dwell among us christ is the written word of god are you listening to me this morning it's all about jesus at the end of the day but listen we love you I got to go. Oh, I had a wonderful time sharing the word of God with you on this morning. And if you would love to see us take some more time and 
teach the word of God in some of these morning broadcasts, I want, us, I want you to comment underneath this video and say, Pastor, please, we are hungry for the word. I know you like to worship and, and, and pray for us, but Pastor, please share some more of the word. It was sweet to my soul. It was sweet. It helped me out this morning. I'm hungry for the word because I want to grow. I want to mature. I, would, I want to become more rooted and grounded in the things of God. Listen, I love you. This is what God called me to do. It's not because of me. It's the, it's the Lord Jesus. It's the Holy Ghost that worked through me. I'm just a vessel of clay. And to God be all the glory. How great you are. How great you are. Come on, lift your hands and sing it with me. Then sings, then sings, My soul, my Savior God to thee. How great you are. How great you are. How great you are. Then sings my soul, then sings, My soul, my Savior God to thee. How great you are. How great you are. Oh, we love you, Jesus. How great you are. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee. How great you are. How great you are. How great you are. Listen, remember. Subscribe to our channel if you never, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to our channel. If you're watching us through YouTube, I want you to click on that red and white button at the bottom right side of the video. If you are watching us through Facebook, I want you to follow our ministry page on Facebook, Sean Pinder Ministries. I want you to click on the follow button and every time we upload a video to YouTube or to Facebook, you'll be notified if you follow us. Subscribe to our channel. We love you. We love bringing the word of God to you. And remember, if you can, if you are able to, sow a seed into the ministry. Visit us online at seanpinder.net. Show your appreciation by sowing a seed into the ministry. And also continue to pray for Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy and our wonderful family. We love you guys. We covet your prayers. Amen. We covet your prayers. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Amen. We love you guys. We appreciate you. And we look forward to being with you on another morning. Amen praying for you, standing with you, believing God for your miracle, for your breakthrough. God bless you. Bye-bye. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great you are. How great you are.